Hi guys, welcome back. I've been wanting to try a gouache painting for a really long time. And these are two ways to do a gouache painting without gouache. So, let's jump right into it. If you are on Pinterest, then I'm sure that you would have come across a gouache painting multiple times in a day because they are everywhere and you can see lots of tutorials on YouTube telling you how to use gouache. So I was naturally interested in it, but when I went to Amazon to buy a set of gouache paints, I realized that they are really costly. A single set was around 800 to 2000 rupees, which was really costly. So I thought of using this. The good old poster colors. <laughs> I know some of you are angry right now, but just stay with me. Because if you are a child in India, then I'm sure that you would have used these paints for your painting or drawing competitions, sometimes for your crafts and nothing else, because this is not a serious medium to work with. But the consistency is kind of similar to gouache and you can use light colors over darker ones. So I thought of using these to paint a gouache painting. So let's just begin. Just so you know, these paints come in these tiny bottles and the consistency is fairly thick. But they use lots of fillers in them and low quality pigments and that's why they're really cheap. But if you compare it to a gouache paint, I think they use some kind of a different formula than this. So that's going to be really costly. As for the brushes, I'm using my older paint brushes which are really cheap. And you can find them in a store near you. Any synthetic brush I think will work fine for this. And for the paint, these are quite uh, thick, so I just want it to be more workable with it. So I'm just adding few drops of water and mix it in with a toothpick and I'll just transfer it into my palette. As always, to get a clean white border, I am using masking tape on all four sides. And the sketchbook that I'm using is also a watercolor sketchbook because to thin these paints out, I'm going to use water. I have to be really honest with you because I was quite skeptical about how these paints are going to perform because I really had no idea whether this is going to turn out like a gouache painting or not. But I was pleasantly surprised because when I was a child, I only used these paints for drawing competitions or drawing classes and nothing else because I really didn't know how to use these paints and most of the times it is just a play thing for me and I'll take a paintbrush and some kind of a cardboard and paint over it and just waste it and that's it that's all I have used this for because I tried this painting I realized that these paints can be used as gouache but not exactly as gouache because gouache is really costly but why I refer it to gouache is because of the consistency and also the techniques and the artistic style. Because most of the paintings that I see on Pinterest or YouTube, I think it's uh, kind of like surrealism or impressionism and most of the paintings are not aimed at realism. So these paints behave so well as gouache and they mix with water just like gouache and you have to use white to make a lighter color just like gouache and that's why I say these paints can be used to paint a gouache painting especially because you can use lighter colors over darker ones and they are going to stand out and if you use watercolors then I'm sure that you would have known the fact that you can't use lighter colors from darker ones so if by any chance you lose a highlight then it is almost impossible to bring that back and I think that it is the only advantage when you compare it to watercolor painting. Since I am so used to using watercolors, I really didn't know how to use these paints as gouache. So I went on YouTube and searched for gouache tutorials and found all the techniques that I needed. And that's how I got an idea about how to use these paints. And that's the only reason this video is not a tutorial. So, if you guys would like a tutorial, then let me know in the comments below, I'll be glad to do one. Just because I had no idea about how these paints are going to work, I was quite open-minded about it and I was ready to welcome uh, whatever this painting is going to be. So, I was pleasantly surprised about how this painting is turning out 
and it is exactly how I imagined it to be because if you see gouache paintings on Pinterest, it is going to be like this in a similar style, you know, expressive, um, impressionistic style and I'm really happy about it. So if you guys have poster paints, then try using it as gouache and I'm sure that you're going to love it. Another way of creating a gouache painting is by using watercolors in tubes. These paints are by the brand Rustro and I don't like these paints at all because most of the times I just use my Mungia watercolor set but since I'm not using these paints anymore, I just thought of experimenting with them. So if you guys have these kinds of unused paints at home then feel free to try this but don't use your high quality watercolor paints for this. This time I'm going to try and paint a flamingo. Just like wash, I am using a lot of watercolor paint because I want the paint to be thick, just like the poster colors that we did before. And I'm really not worried about the amount that I'm going to use because just like I told you, I don't like these paints at all. So if you have any unused paint which you don't like, then try this. But if you have high quality paints like Daniel Smith or uh, Vincent and Newton, then please don't do this. Just buy a gouache set and try. I think that's a lot of paint in there, but it's gouache painting, so I have to use a lot. The only main thing that I was struggling with was the paint mixing. Because I am so used to watercolors and I really didn't know how to mix a thicker consistency of paint. Because in watercolors, you will be using diluted paint and lots of water. But this is quite thick, so I was quite struggling at the beginning. But since I did the poster painting at first, I got quite used to it. And this time, it was quite easy for me. The only thing that I have to warn you about using watercolors as gouache is that you are going to use a lot of paint. So if you are going to try this, then make sure that you are using some unwanted or unused watercolors which you don't use anymore. And please don't waste your high quality paints for this. I will definitely say that I had lots of fun doing these two paintings because I literally had no idea what to expect out of these things because they are quite new to me. I haven't used these paints like I'm using today. So I am really surprised about how well they turned out. I mean, the paintings look exactly how I imagined them to be. So I'm really happy about that. So if you are someone who wants to try gouache then I would suggest that you try these because these look exactly like a gouache painting. And that's it for today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and if you did then do give this video a big thumbs up and as always let me know what you think in the comment section down below and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everybody!